I love talking about my different fandoms and favorite video games and movies and TV shows as much as the next person, but there are things happening right now in our country that need to be talked about. It's political, it's not good news, it's things that are uncomfortable to talk about but that need to be talked about and need to be brought attention to. People need to know and stay informed of what is going on. Below in my video description there is an ever-growing list of people, social media accounts, organizations, and websites that are standing up to the hatred and violence we are seeing by our quote-unquote President Trump check out any of the links and social media accounts that I have at the bottom of my description to stay informed and to find out how you can help fight back. Just like Captain America said that it doesn't matter what the mobs or the politicians tells you. It doesn't matter if so many of them is saying something wrong is something right. And if they come to you saying that, telling you to move, it is your job to stand there and plant yourself beside the river of truth and say no you move. Hatred and ignorance and fear is not what makes our country great. Hey geeks, what's happening? I'm Trey Guillotine. Welcome to my channel and we are unboxing this month's uh, loot crate box of it's one of their special gaming crates and I specifically got the Fallout crate which I actually wasn't expecting this so soon uh, and ironically enough I was actually playing Fallout whenever I did get the delivery as well as the hat I've been wearing a lot lately is a Fallout hat so I guess this is um, serendipitous I guess but we're gonna go ahead we're gonna jump right in we're gonna open this Fallout box I've not looked in it I'm not going to look into it so Let's get this unboxing underway. So, what do we got? Okay, this feels like a t-shirt. Not looking at it. This is it's definitely a t-shirt. For, for a second I was worried it was going to be the same t-shirt that I got in the last gaming box I did, but it's not. Um... Okay, this is interesting. It's very simple. Uh, so it's a regular blue t-shirt and on it has a number of the different villains or enemies you'll find in Fallout. So you got the Rad Roach, the bigger Rad Roach, uh, Robot, uh, one of the Scorpions, uh, one of the, I forget what the bears are called, but one of those, uh, Super Mutant, and then a Deathclaw. Uh, I like it. It's very cute. Uh, it's very simple. I like this shirt. It's very good. It's cool. I like this shirt. I'm going to definitely wear this shirt. All right, what else we got? Um, okay, I think that might be something. I'm trying I want to make sure I get everything. Okay, it's a box of something. This is a... Huh, so this is a bonus item. And it just says Fallout Brotherhood of Steel Power Armor. Bonus item... We love you. Okay, well, let's see. It doesn't really look like an actual full set of power armor is in this, but let's see what's in it. Maybe it's like a little statue or something, which, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, okay. Ooh, okay, this is actually really cool. Okay, so yeah, this is like a full-on like little action figure of uh, someone in power armor, Brotherhood of Steel power armor. That actually looks really badass. Like I de like I have power a little power armor Dorbs. I also have a little power armor Funko Pop. But this is like a legit like action figure. This is pr well, maybe not an action figure because it doesn't move, but this is pretty cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. And it also comes with a stand uh, right here that it says 126. I don't, I'm not sure what that's in reference to um, exactly. Uh, if you do know what that's in reference to, let me know. Uh, let's see if we can get it on the stand. Maybe it goes the other way. There we go. Come on. 
Okay, well, whatever. There's a stand and there's a power armor. This actually looks really cool. I actually really like this. This is neat. Okay, what's next in this box? Um, okay, this feels like a pin. <laughs> it is a Fallout pin. Uh, it's called Crate Number 14 Creatures. Uh, this is one of the Fallout perks, at least in Fallout 3. I don't remember if it was in Fallout... Uh, I mean, Fallout 4. I don't remember if it was in Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. But this, I'm pretty sure this is the one where like you can pacify animals to not attack you. Uh, that's a nice little pin. I like that. Okay, what's next? This feels like something else. This feels like a keychain. It is, so it's a keychain of Jang... Oh, this is Jangles the Space Monkey. This is Jangles the Space Monkey, and it's a little keychain of the monkey on a rocket ship. I like this. This might actually be my new keychain on my uh, on my keys, or at least my backpack. I like that. That's neat. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Okay, I think... Okay, I think there's one more thing, and then it's just, like, the description of what's in the box. Okay, ooh, this is terrifying. Oh, hmm, well, mm, we can think about this. So, this is uh, the Mothman, um, specifically from Fallout 76, which uh, I love Fallout, but 76 is one of the worst games I've ever played. Uh, I hated it. I rage quit over it many times. Uh, never want to play it again. Uh, so the fact that they're like pulling out Mothman to uh, like as one of their things, I don't know if that's the best idea. But uh, yeah, we can always. Sorry, I'm trying to get it open. Uh, okay, so we can get a better look at it. And it also does come with a stand, but I'm not going to worry about that. Like, this is actually kind of terrifying looking. Like, this looks like less of a moth and more of a rad roach, and I'm terrified of those. Because uh, I'm just terrified of roaches. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's a pretty uh, dangerous, gross looking thing. Uh, but, you know, props to them for pulling out something from Fallout 76. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, so what else do we got? Uh, that's just the stand. All right, is there anything else in this box? No, it just feels like there's... Astounding Awesome Tales number 12. Have Dog Will Travel. Oh, this is interesting. Is this... I think this is actually like some... Um, I'm not going to open it because I don't have scissors on me. Or Wait, maybe I can get it open. Okay, yeah, I don't have anything to get open with right now. Uh, but this looks like a postcard. Um, like a legit, like, maybe there's like a few postcards in here that you could like actually send people because, you know, I guess snail mail is still a thing. So that's a nice little interesting thing, especially since it's like in the style of a lot of the comics and magazines that you do find in Fallout. Um, okay. Um... Oh, all right, so the last thing is thanks for being a looter. Uh, want more info about the Epic Gear? Okay, so this is something, This I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the last Loot Crate box I got, but I was told that they were supposed to have these where they basically, you scan the barcode or the whatever the hell code, the QR code, and it'll tell you like the details of the things that were in the box. Um, whereas they used to like just give you like a paper like this that just had the details on it. But now it's just, they, they put in a QR code. Uh, they didn't have that in the last box I did. Uh, which I thought was kind of disappointing because I like reading up on why it is they chose these things. Um, but other than that, yeah, I think that's it. That is all that is in this box. Um, it was a pretty neat box. I definitely like the t-shirt and the keychain and the power armor. I think those look really cool. Um, sorry, I dropped the box and made my dog bark. Uh-huh.
So I think those, so I think this was a really cool box. Uh, the next one I'm going to be doing, I'm pretty sure is a Marvel loot crate box. I'm going to be doing that. And then probably after that, depending on what I want to do, I might do another like special gaming box from loot crate. So far, uh, I am starting to like loot crate a lot more. Uh, it's, you know, I, I think more often than not, the stuff I'm getting from loot crate are things that I actually think are kind of cool. So I think I'm going to stick with loot crate for now on. Uh, but if you have any other suggestions of like loot boxes and subscriptions that I could check out, let me know. Uh, so, but until then, that's it. So let me know if you got this box. Let me know what you liked in it, what you didn't like in it, what you would like to see in a future unboxing. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other videos, you can find them at this on my YouTube channel, or you can check out on my uh, blog website, TreyGuillotine.blogspot.com, where you'll also find a lot of my written content for the UNO Driftwood. Uh, and also, if you want your, if you want to be featured in an upcoming "What You Gaming On" segment, let me know the game you're playing, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and let me know in the comments of this video or on any of my social media. And subscribe to my channel to geek out. Thanks for watching. Have fun.